Welcome back everybody. We are here with a Ikoria collector booster box. It's been a few days since we've done these. We, uh, <clears throat> we kind of wore them out there for about a month. And we took a little break. <clears throat> Excuse me, we took a little break. And now we're back. And you know what I gotta do now. We gotta do the stickering. Drop my stickers. Sorry about that. Because we only do things correctly around here. And professionally. So the big topic, <clears throat> excuse me, the big topic right now is double masters. Seems pretty crazy to me. The cards that are in it seem like they're going to be absolute nuts. I don't know if you've paid attention, but they're already taking pre-orders on Amazon as of the day. I've linked the, uh, the stuff they're selling so far in the description of the video if you want to go over there and check it out and see what they... Their pre-order pricing these things at. It's not as bad as I thought it'd be, but it's not great. And it's just the regular ones. It's not the VIP ones. So we'll see what happens with those. From the looks of those, those packs are going to be absolutely crazy. But without further ado, let's get started with these and pull some Godzilla goodness. I don't know if you could ever get tired of opening these packs. There's so much cool stuff in them. Mountain. Trend. Champion of Freedom. Lava Brink. Oh, what do we have coming up here? Oh, Extinction Event. I thought it was Allurus at first. Triome. Mothra, Supersonic Queen. There we go. It's not a foil, but that's still a good hit. So first pack for Joe C was successful. Gonna go the Joe C had another pack. Let me hit him up. There we go. Let's keep them together if we can. So pack two for Joe C. We got a trilobite, crazy bug, anthropod hours kind of thing going on. Full art ruinous ultimatum. Foil cyclone. That's just a cool looking card. Cub Warden, Space Godzilla, and a Cavern Whisper at the back. So, second pack, not too bad. The Space Godzilla helped it a little bit, even though it might not be where it was at one point. I think that card still may end up holding a little value in the long run, just a tiny bit. Moving on to James Z here. Because that card, it, it kind of bottomed, and it's, it, it's taken a... Uh, what they call in the finance industry, a little dead cat bounce recently. And it's went up a few bucks here and there. Hunt Bonder, Rachel, oh, oh, Kahira, Dwarfing Guard, Dirge Bat, Primeval Champion, and a completely foil card that blinds your eyes. James E again. The thing I've, I've, I've been happy with these collector's boosters is as they have went set to set with them, Arcanist, they have Mythos, Foil Nethroi, not too shabby. They've changed them as they've went and they've improved them some. They, you know, with Theros, I think they kind of missed the mark a little bit and I think they realized that and these, they improved them. So I'm hoping as, as the set, this product evolves, it just keeps getting better. And I think with the uh, maybe Core 21 that was coming up, we're going to see something new. And then with the Double Masters, uh, we're seeing the VIP packs, which I'm really excited about. I'm just deadly rock. That is a very good base rare or a commander rare. Zerta. Wow. Zerta box topper. Good hit. Total Broccoli Boy. Dorat. And the Lurker. Dorat seems to show up a lot. He's a... 
Mark him. He, he's a good card, though. I mean, if you want to play with it, they're plentiful. And I, th I still think they're worth a few bucks. Snatcher. Look at that. Wizard of Oz. Snapdax. And I think we got the Snapdax back here. And we got the Snapdax. And the Box Hopper Godzilla. That was a good pack. We'll call that the Snapdax pack. Let's see if I can get him back in his home here. There we go. That was from Mark M. Let's see. Knew we had another one for him. Here we go. Warmonger. Venture. C Dasher. One of my favorite cards. Triome. If you can tell me who else says it like that, bonus points. Foil Baby G. There he is. I love that little guy. I'll never get tired of seeing him. I actually ordered a play mat of this guy. Hadn't shown up yet. The seller on eBay is not responding to me, so I'm not very hopeful that I'm going to get it. Pretty disappointed. William. And something else I'm disappointed about is there was a comment in one of the videos that says they could, can't believe I don't have a Almighty Brushwag play mat yet. And I actually tried to get one made, and they said, no, that is copyrighted material. You're not allowed to have a brushwag playmat. So if there's anybody that knows how to make that happen, oh, bosh, that's really cool. Wow, box topper, Ozolith. That's a very good looking card. If anybody knows how to get me an almighty brushwag and a Vivian playmat, King Caesar. The rest of the pack was good, though, even though we got the King Caesar. And a foil bird swallow. That would be awesome. So if you can get me an almighty brush bag play mat. I know I've said that like 10 times because this pack kept interrupting me. But uh, that would be awesome. So. Crispy. I owed him a pack. My conscience owed him a pack from the last opening. Because he got one of the worst ones I'd ever seen. So I said, look man. You got a free spot in the next one. So I hooked him up. I hope this one's at least a little better. Flawless Maneuver. It's already better because that's a good, that's one of the free spells. Mythos. Raptor. Looks like we got a Triome. And a Gigan. This is a good pack. I don't feel guilty about that one at all. So Chris, hopefully that makes up for that first one. I'll get them both out to you soon. Robert W. This is your first time having me open packs for you. So hopefully it is successful. Fiend Bonder. Oh, slow down. Slow down. Gigantha, Full Art. Good Companion. Foil, Aluna, Apex of Wishes. It's going well so far with a Triome. And a Foil Gigan. Well, I'd say that first pack went pretty well. So I think Robert's got three packs for me. The first one went good. Let's see how the other two uh, pan out. Just rip the whole flap off of that guy. Don't even know my strength sometimes. Marital Impetus. Quartzwood Crasher. Dirge Bat. Just a couple. Another Triumph here. Zagoth Triumph. That's a good one to hit. Destroya. Perfect Life Form. And just a Liger. Red for its magical powers and both staff skills. Last pack for Robert and last pack of the break. So hopefully it holds something really cool. Foil Chunky Boy. Always glad to see him. Cartographer's Hawk. I really like this card. Have you read this? For two mana, you get a 2-1 flyer. When it deals combat damage to a player who controls more lands, you return it to your owner's hand. If you do... Search your library for a planes card and put it in the battlefield tab. Shuffle your library. <clears throat> I, I really like this guy. I don't know if anybody else does. That's one big cat. Foil Gem Razor. 
out uh, late night looking for the looking for the white claws. A double gem razor pack, and I think we've got another Godzilla. We do, and we have a bonus foil in the back, so this should be interesting. Foils. This is one of the better. I mean, this just looks so crazy. That could that could definitely be a Pokemon card. That's all I'm gonna say. That's another good pack. Robert, you did well. Thank you for uh, allowing me to open these packs for you. And you guys know the drill. I've got the Amazon links in the description. Anything you buy from those helps the channel. And we do giveaways. So if you want to, like the video, leave me a comment, make sure you're subscribed, and you can win some cool stuff. Um, let's just let's just call it a handful of Ikoria packs on this one. Let's call it let's, let's six packs. And uh, if you want to get in on some of this... Uh, break box box break action you can just join my facebook group it's cracking packs mtg um glad you uh joined me one more time and we'll see you next time